get shot. And it just follows a pattern of all the lies that were told to you, the public. You, the public, were told many lies. Mm -hmm. You were told a lie about an August the 27th event where two people were, were supposed to have been shot with, in the flat jackets. There is no testimony they, the, where they had an eye in the sky, the film to that August 27th event. They never introduced it into court because it never existed so that they could gain your sympathy against the occupants of the camp. So on September the 4th, they used the excuse. They knew damn well that there was nobody inside of that camp shooting at the suburban at night, stalking them, but they used it in their own night, night uh, radar photo shows that nobody was there. They used that excuse, their own forensic analysis shows it was hit by a tree bank, but they used that as an excuse to bring in the APCs. Mm -hmm. I want you to talk about the APCs a bit because, um, to give an idea of what that is, because in the visuals, it, you know, it's hard to tell, like, is it tank size? Are we talking military here? The only they're, they're 13 <coughs> tons. They're 13 tons uh, armored personnel carriers. They look like tanks to me. Um, they had, uh, at one point, four of them were very, very close to the, the camp and uh, firing thousands of rounds. Uh, this is on September 11th. This is after they bombed a truck. And um, they, they told the public that the people in the red truck who were on their way to pick up elders and to pick up water, they told the public that, that the people in the truck were shooting at them. But in court, we've had testimony from about six or seven different police officers, um, as well as military, that say they, nobody was shooting at them, that it was them who were shooting at the people. And 